What's going on guys, Musa Muhammad Ali here coming back at you with another video and today we are back on the 49ers franchise today. Week 4 against the Los Angeles Rams, they are 1-2, and two. we are in 2-1, and one. coming off a simulation loss against the Baltimore Ravens. We have our first divisional matchup of the year here in week 4, playing uh, in Santa Clara, California, as we have a home game-ish. I, I mean, it's our home stadium. Um... Sliders have been tweaked slightly. If you didn't stay for the end of last episode, it was to make it a little bit harder. Um, so if you didn't see those there in the last episode, I did tweak them. And um, hopefully it's a little bit harder, but, you know, not unfair the way it had been in, you know, previous episodes. So hoping for a good game here. We are playing the 1-2 and two Rams. I think they do have Drew Brees, who is in decline. So... If he's still their quarterback, we'll see how he plays. It might be Jared Goff. I'm not even sure. All right, Brendan McManus will kick off to start things here. Start the festivities in Santa Clara. I got to get my Xbox. This falls off the table. I'll be pissed. As Tavon Austin will decide not to return. Let me move my camera down. My Alvin camera. Drew Brees still is their quarterback. Season five touchdowns, three interceptions over three games. Not exactly an astounding Stat line there, <laughs> almost just, I don't know what that was, alright, we're going to roll with it. Of course, playing today without rookie linebacker Derek Winfield, who is, uh, he did something, or other. that's a run, we're going to swallow that up, it's a play action, what is going on, get there Reuben Foster, I'm being double teamed, other pressure's getting there, he's going deep, that's got to be a pick. Nice Obi, Obi Melifonwu. Playing better defense on Jacorius War than he was actually on the receiver or any other receiver we face. We've been way more careful with the football in recent weeks uh, as Jimmy Garoppolo has had a, a really fantastic season. I'm going to throw that deep. Oh, that's not going to that's not gonna make it. Oh, it's intercepted by Maurice Alexander. I'm talking about how careful we're being with the football. We take a shot deep. Maurice Alexander's breaking tackles. Will somebody bring him down? Hold the outside. Josiah Mahaffey, the left guard, ends up bringing him down. I wanted Sanchez Heaney over the top, and we just couldn't quite get it to him. Not a great first possession for us, as we are one and out. Aaron Lynch, please. Ah, oh, that's me. That's me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. Wow, what a start to this game. All right. We got Dante Buchanan. He's got to be a spark plug for us today. He's been uh, one of our best receivers. Is Dante Buchanan gets to the outside. He's gone. No one's catching him. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Celebrating into the end zone. 104 yards to the house. That's what I'm talking about as a spark plug. That's what he brings to the table. He is really coming alive here in recent weeks. The rookie is a beast out of South Dakota. Drew Brees has not paid for his one mistake so far, as he lobbed it deep and uh, into pretty much double coverage. You better throw at me, Drew. He's throwing and finds a perfect spot in the zone, but the ball's on the ground! Forced by Willis Burdine and recovered by Aaron Merritt. Somehow we get bailed out. That's exactly what we needed. I was a great hit by Willis Burdine. Or Burdine. I, I feel like I go back and forth on his name every week. As Joey Cummings is to the outside after the spin. Joey Cummings down the sideline. Stiff arms one. And is forced out by Tremaine Johnson at the 35. That's why Joey Cummings can be so great. He's just got such awesome speed as Marcus Wiley is now going to check into the game. And pressure's coming. I'm going to throw that ball. Oh, it's airmailed. Okay. All right. Looking for Jonu Smith there. All right. Second and 10. Still looking to move the ball. Obviously, we're going to check underneath the Sanchez. He knew, takes a shot and fumbles the ball. It's recovered by Andrew Billings. Somebody bring him down. Come on, man. Sanchez Heaney coughs up the ball. Maybe we don't go to him. His two targets, he's got a forced fumble, and the ball was intercepted going at him. I know the interception wasn't necessarily his fault, but, uh, I mean, two turnovers and two attempts for him. I mean, that's not, that's not great. It's play action. Get off the block, Reuben Foster, and that's right to Robert Woods. Finds the gap in the zone defense. I crashed down with Ruben Foster. I tried to get off it, but I was engaged in the block, and I could not shed it. Couldn't back up. And uh, that was just too easy for Drew Brees. A veteran quarterback is going to find that spot every single time. Pass to the flat that's wide open. Make the hit. 
I'm trying to hit stick everybody on the field, and that is just not an effective strategy at all. I mean, I'm a hit stick machine, and when it works, it's fantastic. As uh, Birdine forced a fumble earlier, I, I keep flip flopping on his name. I know. I think I decided I was going to call him Birdine, which is a little bit more annoying, but I'm doing it. But you know, we whiff a lot of the times. It's a draw. Todd Gurley. I mean, I just I gave up my gap trying to shoot from the left side. And, uh, yeah, Tiger really just ran right up the middle. I'm making it too easy on him. We gotta stop. There we go. Shooting the gap with Quan Alexander. Staying in our responsibility. Unblocked. Quan Alexander gonna drop Todd Gurley for a loss. Second and goal. This is where we've played some of our best football all year. Defensively near the goal line. We can shut him down. No points. Well, probably points, but no touchdown. That's a big tackle. They are now trying to score from the opposite end zone. But four yards is four yards. Third and goal. Let's just play base defense and shut it down. Throw at me, Drew. Throw at me. Sack. I'll take it. DeForest Buckner gets credit for half. Solomon Thomas might have gotten the other percentage, which was, I guess, 50% of the sack. Fourth and goal. We let him kick the field goal. I'll take that. Good coverage sack there, I think. We only have 29 total yards of offense, and it makes sense. We have not been able to get anything going, but Dante Buchanan is wide! And Maurice Alexander gets his second pick of the game, and I hit stick, and he's going he's gonna to have a touchdown, probably, unless Sanchez Heaney tracks him down, which he doesn't. I feel like last time we played the Rams, or one of the last times, I threw a couple of Maurice Alexander interceptions, including a pick six. It's going to be 17-7 as we are behind, I think, for maybe the first time this year, provided, like, you know, before that last field goal. It was just, he just looked so open. I You see, it was a cornerback blitz. I'm not even going to bother returning this. Cornerback blitz, flat was open. I just thought I had Dante Buchanan, but either Jimmy G didn't have the arm strength or led him too far. I don't, I don't really know. All right, second and eight after a short run. We're going to juck that down. And then flip it. I didn't mean to flip it that fuck. Okay, that's that's on me, obviously. Um, uh, okay. Uh, I got really, really ballsy there. I'll show you what I saw. Oh, man. Here's what I saw. You're going to check it out. These wide, I, I know I shouldn't have done it. I know I shouldn't have done it. But here was my master plan is I was going to pitch it to fucking... Joey Cummings, like right when I caught it, I was going to pitch it to Joey Cummings, and then Dante Buchanan was going to set the block up on LaMarcus Joyner, and we were going to have tons of yardage. Instead, he fucking flips it all the way back here to a fucking lineman, and it's picked up easily by Michael Brockers. Yeah, I shouldn't have done it, obviously. I know. But I don't know if it should have happened like that. Like, why would I have wanted to pitch it there? We got we to gotta play perfect football if we're going to win this game. I'm so mad about how this game has gone. He's going to throw a deep. Oh my goodness, it's Tavon Austin for a touchdown. This is, this is a rough start. We're down... I mean, 24 to 7. 33 total yards of offense opposed to 170. We have some dumb, tur uh, dumb turnovers at the start of drives as Aaron Donald got pancaked. Go, Joey. Get to the outside. All right, I'll take the, I'll take the 12-yard gain. We've had some dumb turnovers. They've been really, really bad turnovers. Aaron Donald just got pancaked there, by the way. And uh, we've had some special teams excellence. So our yardage isn't particularly high. But the run blocking's been amazing so far. Joey Cummings almost has 50 yards on the day. Aaron Donald's been overpowered in the past, but this time he's getting overpowered. Or he's been overpowering, I should say. It's Marcus Wiley checks in the game on second and inches. And we're going to throw that ball deep. Make the play, Janu! Wanted to take the shot on second and inches. Could have paid off big. Fourth and inches. The offense stays on the field. We're running it at Aaron Donald. Make me pay. You can't. Joey Cummings spins it back. Shows off the wheels. Joey Cummings is gone. 
No chance! Nickel Roby Coleman, no chance. Nickel, who gives a shit? We're back in this game. We needed that. I also, I definitely want to turn the run blocking down slightly. This feels a little bit too overpowered. And it's just, it's too big of a jump from last game. Where, I mean, like, holes open up occasionally, which is the way it should be. I feel like we've been just having free reign to run the entire game. Which I don't like. Todd Gurley, you can't break that tackle! He's averaging six on the ground. We've been saying all year no one can run on this front seven. Yet here we are. Todd Gurley is averaging six per carry. He just busted off a 10-yard gain. It's a pass. That's mine! Uh, out of position. Man, I am not playing well. See, it's another play action. I'm being destroyed on the play action. He waited way too long to throw that ball. He's going to throw it short. How is that completed? He's going to score. He's going to score a touchdown. <laughs> Taven Austin with his second of the day. That's unbelievable. We're going to be down 31-14. to 14. We might want to go back to our playmakers. You look at Dante Buchanan, who's been excellent in weeks past. We're going to throw that ball, though. It's Sanchez Heaney. He's just faster. Oh, couldn't get around that last guy. That's close to the first down marker, though. Third and inches. We need a first down. We've had a very poor day throwing the football so far with Jimmy Garoppolo. It looks like we're going back to old ways, which is not good. Not good at all. We're going to step up in the pocket. On the run, Jonu Smith holds on. That's a great throw from Jimmy G. We needed that. We need him to play better. We need him to be able to hit those throws on the run. It's a great start. All right, second and 10. Let's find the open man. We're rolling out. Throw that ball on the run. Jimmy G is off the mark. Maybe we should have planted our feet, but he was open. Kalan Adkins in the game. He's been a playmaker for us in the past. Might want to see if we can get him the ball somehow. We're going to throw it to Marcus Wiley. Barely getting the ball off. We're going to go for the hurdle. Can't do it. That's a first down, though. That's a first down. We're in the hurry up. Here we go. Got to capitalize. Now is the time. Catch him off guard. Aaron Donald's not even set. He's standing up. Up the middle. Wiley. Down to three. Snap the ball. Snap the ball. Joey Cummings with speed to the outside. Get there. Joey Cummings. Touchdown. 31-21. Pending the extra point. I know he scored pretty quickly. I want the ball back before half. I want the ball back. Just got to stop biting on all the play actions. Get pressure. There it is. There it is. DeForest Buckner with the sack. We're going to call a quick timeout. And that is the perfect start to the drive. Got to get pressure on him. They're actually throwing it. And that's open to the flat. Ball's loose! It's recovered by Willis Burdine. Quan Alexander jarred it loose. And we have the ball back. That's what I'm talking about. That's what's up. All right, let's, let's get it going on. Let's score. Let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. Oh, he's burned him. He's burned him. Dante Buchanan! Dante Buchanan holds on! Touchdown! One play is all it takes. He is an absolute beast. Two touchdowns today for Dante Buchanan, including a 104-yard kick return, and we are down by three. He is so quick off the line. It's a run. It's a run. Bottle it up, and we do. We're going to call a timeout. We're in control. We're in the driver's seat now. We have all the momentum in the world. We got Walter Wiley back there. Let's get a good return going. He's been electric all year in the first three games with punt returns. This will be his first or second one of the day, actually. First maybe real chance if Johnny Hecker doesn't boot this one to the end zone like he did earlier. And Walter Wiley will get a chance to return. It's coming right to him. He breaks a tackle. He gets a block. Walter Wiley to the outside. Walter Wiley has the wheels. Walter Wiley down the sideline. Walter Wiley. Punt return touchdown. 83 yards as special teams is on fire here today. As we will take a 35 to 31 lead before the half. What is going on? Madness is ensuing in Santa Clara, California. All right, third and 14. We're not giving up here. We can't easily get a first down. We have the playmakers to get it done. And there it is. It's going to be Dante Buchanan. Hit in stride, and he's in a foot race down the sideline. And Dante Buchanan's going to win it. 
Lamarcus Joyner can't catch him. The rookie has another touchdown. Three on the day. This one, 81 yards. He is hyped out of his mind. And we're going to go up 42 to 31. Unbelievable scenes here in Santa Clara. We're still going to play the game of get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. We're dialing up a screen to the rookie Dante Buchanan. And he will have nowhere to go. Looking for an end around. Can't find one in the playbook. I have located an end around. We're going to give Dante Buchanan a chance to get some rushing yards here. He gets the handoff and he gets a couple of blocks. We might go back to that. That was a pretty effective play. Only five yards for him, but it's not bad. Drew Brees has thrown three interceptions over the previous three weeks. And here in week four, he does not have one. Almost threw one to Jacorius Ward slash Obi Melifano at the start of the game. However, none ended up coming down with it. Still a lot of game to be played as Ray Ray Armstrong potentially could have made a play on that ball. Does not end up doing it, though. Forces the incompletion regardless. Third and two. That's a run. That's a run. Shut down Todd Gurley. Can't do it. First down. Second and nine. Let's make a stop. That's wide open in the flat. Who is on Todd Gurley? How are we letting the best player be butt-ass naked? Wide open on the field. I think he just found the spot in the zone. Fourth quarter is now officially underway. And that is open in the flat. It's Robert Woods. I don't get those dives where they just fall down. I'm trying to like dive forward. I'm trying to launch him to get after the uh, ball carrier. As this game is anything but over. With nine and a half left to play. Only down by 11. This is still very much a game, unfortunately. That's on me, though! User pick! Easy reads! Green eggs and ham! Shouldn't have taken it out of the end zone. But we gotta. Easy reads. Third and six. Let's get the first down, baby. Jimmy G, looking for somebody. We're gonna throw that ball. That's intercepted. I don't know how he made a play on that. Darion Clem. Oh, uh, the rookie cornerback. Picks me off. I'm going to go to the replay mode, dude. I got to show you. Like, obviously, I rolled out here. Can I, can I get on him? And I stop, and I, I see it, and I'm like, surely this is enough space to get the throw off. Like, he's not eight feet tall, right? There's enough space there to lead it to the sideline. So what do I do? I do pass lead to the sideline. Not only is that ball severely underthrown... It's just so underthrown. Why would he lead him back towards the fucking defender? I go up and to the right, and they just don't do it. And, of course, the ball is picked off as it looked like it was going more towards Darion Clem than the actual receiver. And we've turned over the ball right after forcing the turnover. That's, that's just so frustrating. There's nothing I can do. He looked open. <laughs> that's a pick. It's Rashard Robinson. That's a pick six as well. Go, go, go. He is gone. Don't have to ask him twice. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Taunting the Rams all the way home. <laughs> what is that? Three interceptions in the span of six plays? What is going on here in the battle with these two California teams? Unreal. We've not seen false starts the entire game. And then two on the same drive from the same player he is certainly collapsing in this key situation not what you'd like to see if you're a rams fan or the rams i'm sure breeze is rolling out kirkland i don't know <laughs> do you know where you are in the field there's an injury that's never good they are going for it on fourth and 14. Hope no one important is injured. That's got to be a pick. Uh, Birdine goes for the SWAT instead, which actually probably was the intelligent play. As we're going to take over on the 21. Joey Cummings having one of his best days as a pro thus far. We're going to continue giving him the ball. Spin back to the inside. And he fumbled the ball. And it's recovered by the Rams. Oh my god. Martrell Spate. I swear Joey Cummings does not hold on to the fucking rock, dude. He is, he's fumbled twice already in this game, I think. 
That's a user pick. Easy reads. The Lorax. Ruben Foster with the potential game ceiling interception. Oh, get after it. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, don't get after it with this PG channel. I don't know what Dante Buchanan's deal is, but he has not come back out on the field in any regard. As we're going to hand the ball off to Marcus Wiley. And Marcus Wiley has speed to the outside. Marcus Wiley is gone. Touchdown for the rookie. That's game. 59 yards to the house for Marcus Wiley. As the Wiley brothers both have a touchdown in today's game. Eight yards per attempt is what Drew Brees is at right now. And that's so bad. That's a pick. It's Ray Ray Armstrong. And he's got a pick six. Ray Ray Armstrong. Celebrate. End zone touchdown. What is going on with this game? I don't know why Ray Ray Armstrong plays well. He's not particularly well. There have been 12 turnovers in this high scoring affair. We've scored 63 points. Is this a college game? What is going on here? Zero defense is being played overall. Especially by the Rams. Oh, that's a sack as well. Todd Gurley was open. Aaron Lynch gets credit for half of it. Didn't see who the other player was that got in there. But pressure has been not amazing, but I guess pretty decent for the uh, for the game so far. I'm trying to see who that fucking is. All right, there we go. Fourth and 15. That's at me. It's a user pick. It's easy reads. Hop on pop. I didn't prepare for this many. Three interceptions for Ruben Foster. All coming in the same game. His season total is, I should say. And that is going to be the game. As Joey Cummings bowls off a couple of... Saint... Nope. Los Angeles Rams. We might run one more play. I know it's not ideal, but we're going to do it. We're going to pad stats, maybe. Is there a flag? We got to play another down? Is that the game telling me to take a knee? It's a hold, actually. The game could end on this then, right? No? Yep. That's the game. Uh, interesting game, to say the least. Very odd. Garoppolo was okay. The three interceptions were tough. Uh, of course, you know, a lot of those my fault. Joey Cummings was dominant. I'm going to look to change the sliders a bit. He did fumble. And then Marcus Wiley was solid when he was in as well. Receiving, as far as yardage goes, Dante Buchanan... Three receptions, 119 yards, and two touchdowns. That looks like some Randy Moss-style numbers. He did drop one, unfortunately. And then blocking. I mean, we're always going to let up sacks, but this game was especially good, only giving up one from VJ Poole. Solomon Thomas had 10 total tackles. That's insane. Tackles for loss, two from Solomon Thomas. Not many from any others, but two and a half sacks for DeForest Buckner. One for Solomon Thomas, half a sack for Aaron Lynch. The interceptions, three for Reuben Foster. They had a few as well, but then Richard Robinson and Ray Ray Armstrong actually made some plays, and the fumble was forced by uh, Robert Quinn, Quan Alexander, Martrell Spate, Willis Burdine, all four some. And then we have a number of total fumble recoveries. Aaron Merritt, Willis Burdine, and uh, that's it from us. And then defensive touchdowns, Richard Robinson and Ray Ray Armstrong, both with pick sixes. So our next matchup, if we choose to play it, will be against the Atlanta Falcons, who are 2-1 and one on the season. I don't know why Dante Buchanan came out of that last game. I didn't change anything on the depth chart in order to make that happen. And I know it's kind of weird how catching so low, but, like, spectacular catch is super high. Um, do I even want to touch catching? I mean, he catches the ball regardless. I mean, I guess he did drop the ball last game. That's impact route running. An awareness. We're actually going to simulate this game as well. And we will be playing the Cowboys and uh, probably Dak Prescott as we lost another simulation game. And Derek Winfield actually coming back into the starting lineup this week. Uh, potentially. His acceleration would be down a lot. We're going we're gonna to play Ray Ray Armstrong, actually. I don't really want to injure Derek Winfield any more so than he might already have been. Of course, regression from VJ Poole. Pass block minus two. Allowed four sacks. Great. Great game for him. Uh, what I'm thinking is maybe we got to improve the offensive line in free agency in the draft because a lot of these guys are liabilities, to say the least. 
All right, we're actually going to make some gameplay slider adjustments. We're going to turn down run blocking to a 53. I think that'll be better. Um, I think the rest probably fine. Maybe QB accuracy up to a 32. And then for them, we're going to turn up QB accuracy to a 22. Pass blocking is fine. We're going to run blocking to a 42. I think it's about fine. We're going to try to make things a little bit harder. Pass coverage. We're going to intercept. It's 50. Pass coverage. It's going to be a 30. Uh, pass defense reaction time. We're going to go 25. And wide receiver catching will make a 45. What else did I notice that I wanted to change? So it was run blocking. Well, 52. Um, I think pass blocking is fine. Maybe 74. Turn that down one notch. I feel like the rest of it plays pretty well. What else do I want to do? I feel like to false start. I turn it down. It's still happening a lot uh, in weird situations. So we're going to make that change. And uh, we're actually going to turn up defensive pass interference for both sides to a 60 to get that call a little bit more often. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.